Hey everybody, it's Gamer Gramps here. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Civilization 6 update for August 2020 that was just announced today. Just going to be basically going over everything they talk about and giving my first impressions and what I'm looking forward to or not looking forward to depending on what's in the video. So if that sounds like something you might want to watch, then definitely stick around. All right, here we go. Obviously, we're going to try and keep this video as short and sweet as possible because there's not a whole lot to talk about. So it's pretty, pretty short and sweet and they covered quite a few different things. We're going to go and just kind of jump through to and take tackle them one by one. Uh, as always, I will put timestamps linked in the comments below. Like I'm, I'm going to do what I can to keep this video short and sweet. Uh, so maybe you won't need them but in case you do want to just jump through to something specific you're looking for that'll be pinned at the top of the comment section other than that let's just start talking about this other than that though let's just jump into this and start digging through to see what we think about what okay so the first thing that they mentioned is selecting natural wonders i am really glad that they implemented this i will be using it however i'm only going to take out like the dumpster fire natural wonders like there's a few like for instance off the top of my head the eye of the sahara is just a completely dumpster fire wonder that i hate every single time i come across it in the game Game. it's just ugh but uh i'm more happy about this because now we'll at least be able to see the people on reddit and <laughs> in the different facebook groups stop crying about oh my god this is getting so fantasy you know they they put the freaking the, the fountain of youth in the game like that's such an unrealistic wonder well there you go take it out stop crying prom salt whatever Anyways, I'm sorry, but I just get so irritated sometimes by seeing shit. I mean, I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion and whatnot, but I mean, cry about it once, not every day. Anywho, let's just jump through to the next part. All right, so they have the tech and civic shuffle mode here. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of this idea. I'll, I probably will play it for at least once or, or twice to just give it a chance. However, for me personally, part of the game that I really, really enjoy is the planning and forethought that I put into my games in order to min-max things and be as efficiently as humanly possible in order to win my games as fast as possible. Because really, at this point, DD isn't hard for me anymore at all. Like, it, it, it's... It, can be challenging every once in a while but those are few and far between and so what i like the part that i enjoy the most about the entire game is competing against myself essentially like i'm always trying to win that game that much faster i'm always trying to beat my new record like hitting hitting my fastest win for whatever win condition i happen to be going for so to me this isn't really that appealing but like i said i'd probably try it out once or twice just for the hell of it kind of thing but i know some people will really like this so again it's nice that they're adding it into the game. And then on top of that, it's nice that all the stuff that they're talking about here is actually free of charge. Like this, this is for everybody who owns Civilization, regardless of what expansion you have or don't have. This is all coming to the game so that everybody can enjoy it. And it's not behind some sort of paywall. So that, that really is a nice thing for them to do, if you ask me anyway. Speaking of which, on the quick note, if you haven't got any of the expansions or the New Frontier Pass or like say the Ethiopia Pack or whatever, and you've been considering it or you you're about to do it there's links in the comment section or in the comment section there's links in the description down below where you can buy steam keys and it actually helps support the channel because i get a commission for anybody who uses my links and stuff so if you are thinking about that and you want to go that extra step i'd appreciate it but other than that let's shut up and just keep moving along here i guess one other quick thing here about this whole shuffle thing the other thing that really irks me the wrong way is that the prerequisites for the different things themselves is going to be randomized to me that that really uh, I just, ugh. <laughs> anyway, to each their own. Hopefully you enjoy it and you're looking forward to it, but let's continue on. All right, so the next change they mentioned specifically just for Gathering Storm players here is with the forest fires, they're not going to like burn eternally or anything like that. So that is a nice change. It, it adds more realism to it. And then uh, uh, from my understanding, the way I take this anyways, it's not going to be so crazy, like as far as just basically unlimited tile yield improvements. Like I, I've seen pictures and, and heard stories of people getting like just absolutely ridiculously crazy tile yields even in games that weren't played on apocalypse mode so i'm glad to see this change is coming into the game and uh although i haven't experienced that so much in, in my in my playthroughs it's good that the change is coming there for those who ha have noticed it and now the problem seems to be solved all right and then the last thing they noticed here is having some tweaks to government plaza effects i'm actually really intrigued to see what that is because uh basically in every single game i play i do build government plazas and so it's going to be interesting to see what they have in store for us but again we'll have to wait until the actual patch is released and where we can get access to the patch notes for it. so for now we'll just have to speculate so on that note what are you excited about like what kind of changes would you like to see with the government plaza let me know in the comment section down below any ideas you have and let's shoot the shit together and see what you all think but 
as far overall, I'm excited about this. It's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't really think we'd be getting another update until September when the next half of the new Frontier Pass, like whatever they have going on, is coming out. Uh, that's kind of what I was expecting. So this is a pleasant surprise. There's not a whole, whole lot to talk about here. However, like I said, the fact that it's all free, I mean, who can complain about this, really? I mean, I'm sure literally there probably will be people complaining about this. But, I mean, like, ugh. Let's just not get into that. There you go. That's my two cents on everything here. I know there wasn't a whole lot to go through, so I was successful. I did keep this to be a very short video. Anyways, I'm not sure how experienced you are or if you've had a chance to play with the secret societies and whatnot yet. I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner of the screen right now to a recent playthrough we did. We managed to get an 120-turn culture win with the new Catherine, uh, with her new uh, Magnificence persona, and that was without secret societies enabled. It was just with uh, the Gathering Storm regular regular game mode there so if you're interested check that out other than that i'm going to shut up here i've rambled enough at least for this video so i'm just going to shut up and hopefully i'll see you in the next one